Hello everyone. In the process of learning a subject, the most important and first step is to read the lesson, isn't it? In school, teacher makes us to read the lesson once before explaining. But at home, for the students who find it difficult to read the lesson and for the differently abled, we are introducing audio textbooks. These will help you to listen and read the lesson while going through the text. Our state government has provided us with PDF of the textbooks. So let us start reading the lesson. The eighth lesson in our English textbook is half the price. Let us start reading the lesson. Once there lived a fisherman in a town near the Arabian Sea. He was a wise old fisherman. Here is a story about him. The fisherman had a daughter. She was 17 years old. That was the age of marriage for girls in those days. So the fisherman was looking for a good bridegroom for his daughter. He found several young men but he did not have enough money to get his daughter married to one of them. Some of his friends advised him to see the Raja who ruled the town and ask him for help. He was ready to take their advice but he did not wish to go to the Raja without any gifts. He wished to take with him a gift that was good enough for the Raja. What gift could a fisherman give except fish? But this fisherman was too old to go far out into the sea. Every day he saw several big fish in the sea and tried to catch one, but he failed. Then one day he was lucky. A very big fish fell into his net and he immediately set off for the Raja's palace with great joy. But at the palace gate, the gatekeeper stopped him. Gatekeeper, you cannot go in. Fisherman, but I must see the Raja. I wish to give him this fish as a gift. Gatekeeper, you need not give him any fish. He has enough fish for several days. Fisherman, but I must speak to the Raja. I want to speak to him about an important matter. Gatekeeper, you need not speak to the Raja. You can speak to me instead. Fisherman, I do not wish to speak to you about it. Gatekeeper, why can't you speak to me? Is it a secret? I can keep secrets. Fisherman, you need not keep my secret and you must not stop me here. Everyone in the town can see the Raja at any time. The Raja himself said so. I hear. Gatekeeper, but I am sorry, you are wrong. The Raja has ordered me not to let anyone in now. I must obey his order. I will not let you in. Fisherman, please let me in. I must see the Raja and give him this fish. Gatekeeper, do you want to sell him the fish? What is its price? Fisherman, I am not selling it. I am giving it to the Raja. Gatekeeper, but still he will certainly pay a good price for it. Now shall we divide the money between us? Will you give me half the price? Fisherman, how can I do that? Gatekeeper, you need not do that and you need not go in now. Fisherman, what shall I do now? Gatekeeper, you can do one of the two things. Either agree to give me half the price or leave this place and go home. The fisherman stood there for some time thinking. Fisherman, will you take half of anything that the Raja gives me? Gatekeeper, he will give you either gold or silver. What else will he give you? Fisherman, I don't know anything about that. Answer my question. Will you take half of anything I get from the Raja? Gatekeeper, yes, I shall take anything. Now you can go in. Fisherman, thank you very much. 
I shall certainly give you half the price I get for this fish. The fisherman appeared before the Raja with his big fish. He placed the fish with great respect at the Raja's feet. Fisherman, I have long wished to see your highness and pay my respects to you. But I did not come till now because I was not able to find a gift that was good enough for you. Today I was lucky enough to catch this. Raja, what is your name my man? Fisherman, my name is Jalraj, your highness. Raja, I have heard of you. All fishermen respect you and say that you are the wisest among them. I respect all good and wise men among my people. So please sit down and tell me everything about this fish. Fisherman, it is a fish that lives in deep sea far below the surface of the water. It sometimes comes up and jumps several feet above the water. It came up this morning and fell into my net. Now it is here before you. Send it to your cooks immediately and you will enjoy your dinner today. Raja, stay for dinner and enjoy it with us, my man. I invite you to dine in the palace today. Now what shall I give you in return for this gift? Fisherman, nothing, your highness. Your highness and everybody in the palace must enjoy my gift. That is all I want. Raja, no. That is not enough. You must take something in return. Fisherman. Then will your highness give me anything I ask for? Raja. Yes, anything. Fisherman. Then please order your men to give me 200 lashes with a whip on my back. Raja. What a strange request this is. People say you are a wise man. But I don't think your request shows any wisdom. What fun will you get out of lashes on your back? Fisherman, you and your men can get some fun watching the man lashing me. Raja, but I don't want to have such fun. Ask me for something else. Fisherman, I do not wish for anything else, your highness. Raja, alright then, you will have your lashes. Are you ready for them? Fisherman. Yes, I am, your highness. But please call your gatekeeper in. The Raja sent his men to the gatekeeper and in a few moments he appeared. Fisherman. Your highness, please give this man 100 lashes out of the 200 lashes that you have promised me. Gatekeeper. What? 100 lashes? Why must I share this punishment with you? Fisherman, we agreed to divide the price of the fish between us. You wanted half of anything I got from the Raja in return for it. I am getting 200 lashes from him and half of 200 is 100. Raja, not 100. Give that gatekeeper all the 200 lashes and dismiss him from my service. I feel ashamed because I kept such a bad servant all these days. You are indeed very wise, my good fisherman. This man was trying to cheat you. You have very clearly brought punishment on him. I wish to give you a good reward for your cleverness and wisdom. Ask me anything. Fisherman, I have a daughter and I must soon give her away in marriage. I am very poor. Raja, bring here the bridegroom of your choice. I shall get her married. Fisherman, I thank your highness. Children, listen to the lesson once again and then read it on your own.